diabetes is a chronic condition that affects how your body regulates blood sugar, also known as glucose. Glucose is the primary source of energy for your body's cells. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. In this condition, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin. Insulin is a hormone that helps your body use glucose for energy. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes. In type 2 diabetes, the body either doesn't produce enough insulin or becomes resistant to its effects. This resistance means that glucose can't enter the cells as easily, leading to high blood sugar levels. Both types of diabetes can lead to serious health complications if left unmanaged. These complications can affect various organs, including the heart, eyes, kidneys, and nerves. Understanding the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes is crucial for proper diagnosis and treatment. Glucose is a type of sugar that comes from the food we eat. It is the primary source of energy for the cells in our body. When we eat, our digestive system breaks down carbohydrates into glucose. This glucose then enters our bloodstream. Once in the bloodstream, glucose needs a way to enter our cells to provide them with energy. This is where insulin comes in. Think of insulin as a key that unlocks the doors of our cells to let glucose in. Without insulin, glucose can't enter the cells effectively, leading to high blood sugar levels. When blood sugar levels rise, the pancreas releases insulin. Insulin acts as a signal to the cells, allowing them to absorb glucose from the bloodstream. This process helps to regulate blood sugar levels and provide energy to the body. Insulin and glucagon are two essential hormones produced by the pancreas that work together to regulate blood sugar levels. The pancreas is an organ located behind the stomach. Insulin, as we discussed, helps lower blood sugar levels by allowing glucose to enter the cells. When blood sugar levels rise, such as after a meal, the pancreas releases insulin into the bloodstream. Glucagon, on the other hand, raises blood sugar levels when they drop too low. When blood sugar levels fall, such as during fasting or exercise, the pancreas releases glucagon. Glucagon signals the liver to release stored glucose, called glycogen, into the bloodstream. This process ensures that the body has a constant supply of energy, even when glucose is not readily available from food. The balance between insulin and glucagon is crucial for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that occurs when the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. These cells are called beta cells. Without beta cells, the pancreas cannot produce insulin. Since insulin is essential for transporting glucose into cells, people with type 1 diabetes require insulin injections or an insulin pump to manage their blood sugar levels. The exact cause of this autoimmune attack is unknown but genetic predisposition and environmental factors are thought to play a role. Type 1 diabetes typically develops in childhood or adolescence, but it can occur at any age. Symptoms of type 1 diabetes usually appear suddenly and can be severe. Common symptoms include frequent urination, excessive thirst, unexplained weight loss, increased hunger, fatigue, and blurred vision. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic condition characterized by insulin resistance and or insufficient insulin production. Insulin resistance means that the body's cells don't respond properly to insulin, making it difficult for glucose to enter the cells. Over time, the pancreas may also lose its ability to produce enough insulin, further contributing to high blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes is often associated with lifestyle factors such as obesity, lack of physical activity, and an unhealthy diet. Family history of diabetes, age, and certain ethnicities can also increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Symptoms of type 2 diabetes often develop gradually and can be mild, making them easy to miss in the early stages. Some people with type 2 diabetes may not experience any symptoms at all. Common symptoms include increased thirst, frequent urination, increased hunger, unexplained weight loss, fatigue, blurred vision, slow healing sores, and frequent infections.